please welcome the athletes to the field of play. Time to decide the first of the medals in the recurve men's individual as Dan Oleru of Moldova comes out to face O oh, Jin Hook. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea, O oh, Jin Hyuk. On target number two, representing Moldova, Dan Olaru. The line judge for this matchup is Maki Nakano. Well, big matchup for Dan Olaru here. He's already been knocked out well, for the semifinals by Kim. Faces another Korean in the bronze medal playoff, the 2012 individual Olympic champion, Oh Jin Hook. He's 40 years old. He's a two time individual stage winner himself in the 2013 World Cup final champion. And it will be O oh to shoot first in this bronze medal match off. Good view down the range, you can see those flags just moving in the distance. Now flapping on the t-shirt of O as well. No. No. So a nine here enough for O to take the first two set points. Yeah. Leaves the door open with an eight, but Dolaru needs a ten to share the points. Anything less, and O grabs them. Another. So it is a two nil lead for O Jin Hyuk, and it just seems it feels like the, the speed has increased. Is that because they're, they're a little bit more concerned about the wind and they just need to get their arrow out? I think it's a good strategy, you know, if it is windy, then really just go for it, attack it, because the longer you spend wondering, oh, where should I aim, being indecisive, that is where poor shots come from. So, you know, whether they've consciously gone with that or just, you know, trying to shoot as strongly as they can, it's, it's a good tactic to have. We take a look back. O would have been disappointed with his semi-final performance against Marcus Dalmeida. But he's come out the start of uh, this match against Oleru here from Moldova. And O has taken a 2-0 lead. Set number two here. A bronze medal at stake. Olu trailing by two points, so he'll shoot first. No. All high in the first one, in the first set, and that one going low for the first time. Ah. Got 20 seconds to shoot that arrow. You can see the timer clock down the range there ticking away. The archer can see it. And that time waiting, biding his time on and it worked out for him. Wow. Again, just waiting a little bit. See the flag on top of the target, just blowing right no. to left and just outside the 10 ring there for a 28. 
So again, a nine is enough for the set points here. No. A nine it is. If that's what you need, that's more than enough, but a 29 this time. And an ominous signs there for Oluru. Oh, shot a 27 to take the first set and shot a 29 to take the second. Uh, getting better and better. To be fair to Oluru, he shot a 26 in the first and a 28 in the second. So he's also getting better. But let a Korean, especially Enrico Vartri, start to pull away. Very difficult to rein them back in. Yeah, it can be. And, you know, O could take it right here if he can out win outright this next set as well. So those six points would be enough. So, we really got to push that reset button, get back into this. Imagine we're back at the beginning again and just be as strong as you can. Well, the length of these competitions, I mean, when we look back at. Um, Oluru shot to two six nils on route this. Are, are they important for your, your stamina, get, getting through matches quickly? I think it helps definitely your confidence. I mean, that would have been a couple of days now ago, so they're probably well recovered. Well, recovery is what Dan Oluru is looking for here. He's four nil down in set number three of the bronze medal match. Excellent. And that is a great start. A confidence booster. Now, that could spell trouble here, as Nikki said. Oh, can do this in this set. He outscores Oluru. He's drifted off into the eight as well, and both off to the right. Curious whether that was just slightly over aiming off, like so these feather flags can do quite a lot of movement when there isn't much wind. All the ten. Given what's happened so far, I'm just going to wait to see whether that still remains a 10. It looked very close. A 28 from Oluru. Can he strike back here? O oh, puts it into the 10 as well for a 28. So, provisionally, <laughs> the points have been shared. Well, potentially off the mark here, Oluru. But uh, now O, oh, if those scores are confirmed, is just one away and has to match up. That's all he has to do, just level up with Oluru in this next set, and he's got the bronze medal. Yep, that's right, so let's wait for that important measure. Just to add to the attention in the commentary box, moved away from the close-up of the target judge there. Going to look back over the uh, set. It looks like our scoreboard has confirmed it. It is 28 apiece in the third set, so a 5-1 lead for O Jin Hook. Both drifting out into the eight in that previous set. Oluru having to reset here. Began his process. Had to start again. He's lost six or seven seconds on that. This is going to have to be a quick shot. Well, has that redraw opened the door here? No. Remember, just has to match Oluru's score here, O, oh, to claim the bronze medal. Well, super quick. It really was. You know, I think O was only still just loading, so we've taken into a little bit of his time already with that clock switching over quickly. Tactical, potentially. 
Oh, I don't know. I think he's just been positive and shot a great shot. I don't think he'll be thinking about his competitor at this point. Taking a little more time this time with the final arrow. And he's got that into the 10 for a 28, matching his highest score in the match so far. But a 28 is all that O needs. He can do it with a nine. Now, has that dropped off into the eight? It's gone for a measure, provisionally marked as an eight, but has Uluru done enough here to stretch this one out to a fifth set? That looks clear in the eight, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks like an eight to me, but... Well, the judge not giving the indication with uh, the new one of the new processes the judges have to do on a measure is to give a point up or down to, to tell you which uh, what, what way that measure is going to go. I think the judge looked at that and thought. It's not even a measure, that's an eight, so he didn't bother. Well, what a comeback being staged here by Dan Ulleru. 5-3 down after being 4-0 down. We're going to the fifth and final regulation set. A must-win set for Ulleru. Called an eight, but... Uh, that may be measured. here no. did a bit of dragging there but into the nine and as you can see two points advantage here Three. over to the eight all drifting right as well for a 25 a six is all that's needed for the bronze medal Puts it into the nine. It's more than enough, even with a measure. It's a 7 3 win for O Jin Hook. And Dan Oleru, despite a brave comeback in sets three and four, is done at the final time of asking. Wasn't the most convincing after a great start from O, but O will be on the podium with the bronze medal.